now it is my 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 pleasure to introduce our next speaker Eva Belonoi she is currently the unit head of the training and education management in Eurofusion uh, and Eva is also involved in JET research, although to be honest, I don't remember your exact position at JET. But, <laughs> and uh, I, have, I have to mention that Eva is our direct contact. So it's Fusion is direct contact with Eurofusion. And we are together managing the, the strategy of education and training for, for students. And we're really happy to have you here. Uh, please, Eva, the floor is yours. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for the introduction. Can you allow me to share my screen? Yes, one second. Um, yes, it's really nice to see Very you all, and uh, thank you for the invitation. Uh, thank you. Let me try to share. Yeah, my background is in operation, which is a lot of fun. And I've been a physics pilot on ASDAQ's MAST eight years on JET, and I did three years on JT6 DSA. Uh, so, yeah, that, that's my background. But uh, recently, I have taken over the training and education office in Eurofusion, and it is a, a pleasure to work with FuseNet, you know, with all the excellent activities that uh, is, are provided through, through FuseNet, uh, both in materials, but also in support of, uh, of the students. I think it's really nice to work together and enable you to do some internships, which we highly recommend, you know, and also some of the courses and so on. So we thought it would be useful to maybe just uh, go through a few of the opportunities we have in Eurofusion. Fusion, uh, Fusion for Energy and ITER, so in Europe for, for uh, master students. Um, I think the talk will be shared afterwards, and I put a lot of links in it, so feel free to then click around and, and see some of the connections that I included. So um, you already had a number of presentations today, and you know, as you know, Eurofusion is a consortium of 30 members and over 160 institutes, uh, universities, research centers, uh, laboratories. So we have almost, I think, 200 members across Europe um, and basically work together uh, on a joint program for, for fusion. Um, I highly recommend if your affiliation, if your university is member of Eurofusion, to get a Eurofusion account so that you can access some of the material and some of the uh, calls for participation um, that, that I'm going to discuss. Um, I have added at the end of the presentation a list of all the Eurofusion members and uh, affiliated entities. So you can then take a look whether your university is included there or not. Um, as I said, there are 200 or around 200 uh, members. So um, I think most of you will be included. So my first recommendation is to get a Eurofusion account, which you can do uh, with this link here. And if you have a Eurofusion account, you can access the wiki pages where there's a lot of material on the Fusion program in Europe on the different machines, uh, including JT60 SA, which as it was mentioned, is a half European, half Japanese project. And Eurofusion is involved uh, in the scientific exploitation and operation and enhancements uh, through Fusion for Energy. Uh, we also have the IMS platform, which is a platform to um, request missions, or also it has all the calls for participation for uh, in experiments in Europe and also for uh, to make proposals. So anybody with a Eurofusion affiliation can make a proposal for an experiment in Europe uh, on a European machine or JT60 SA, and also can participate in these campaigns. And this is an excellent opportunity for students to kind of really get some hands-on experience uh, if you are an experimentalist or benchmark your models if you are uh, uh, more on the numerical side. We also have some Indico pages uh, where we organize meetings and you have some presentations that are available there. And this account that you request from IMS will give you access to all three of these uh, platforms. So this is very much recommended. The other useful uh, repository I believe that we have is the Eurofusion Pinboard. And this is basically a place where people upload their presentations for conferences, but also their uh, papers that are going to be submitted into referee journals. So of course you can look at the final uh, publications and look at the different journals separately, but I find the easiest way to actually go on the Eurofusion Pinboard for the European papers, and then you can very easily search by topic or by person, by field, by conference, by journal, anything. So I find it the easiest to find publications that are on a particular topic. Um, and uh, yeah, you are you, you can already take a look and and uh, and then maybe look at the final publication when it's published. So for this, you need a separate account, and you have to request here with the second link. 
We are also having a number of uh, discussions on the educational programs and um, on knowledge management, uh, knowledge capture and transfer in Europe. And one of the ideas we have, uh, which if there is interest, please let us know, is that we want to um, kind of encourage the students to submit uh, once you finish your thesis, either master or PhD, either into the PIM board or, or into the preprint server, depending on the uh, IP from the intellectual property uh, restrictions of your university, if you are welcome to share it publicly or not. And we thought it would be maybe a good opportunity for you to have a big repository of PhD thesis across Europe. Because sometimes it's easier to read a PhD thesis uh, with the introduction in the uh, introduction material than maybe a paper. So it might be a good uh, way to actually see who done something similar or get some introduction or maybe even some connections. So please do let us know if there's any feedback, uh, but this is something we are going to propose for next year. Moving on, uh, Eurofusion of course of also offers dedicated grants. So we have a uh, grant for physics called uh, Eurofusion Bernard Biko Researcher Grant. And we have a grant for engineering, which is called the Eurofusion Engineering Grants. These are grants for two years, uh, funding your salary um, for a research topic of your choice, basically uh, at a Eurofusion Institute. Uh, also a training program, missions, and there is also a dedicated engineering training program that I'm going to show in the next slide. As I said, the length is two years. There is no requirement for your uh, nationality, but the requirement is that the institute where you are going to do this work uh, should be a member of Eurofusion or affiliated to a Eurofusion member. Uh, the Physics one is maybe still a bit further away because it requires a PhD to be completed, but uh, I think I want to highlight the opportunity with the Eurofusion Engineering Grant, which requires a master degree in engineering less than six years old, right? So if you are now a master student and you are finishing, that it would be worth considering it. The 2024 uh, applications are closed now, but we are expecting to release the 2025 applications in the spring next year. So if you want to start a degree um, from between the 1st of January to the 1st of July, 2025, then you will need to apply uh, around the summer of 2024. So uh, there will be more information there on our social media, but also on our wiki pages. And we also have dedicated uh, information sessions related to this, if you are interested. Uh, but these are very useful grants and really high profile grants uh, based on excellence. So I would highly recommend that you consider it if you are an engineering student and apply. So this is the structure of the program. It's a two year program. As I said, you can start any time between January and uh, July. And then we are planning to have an orientation week in uh, at the Eurovision headquarters in Garching in Germany to bring all the grantees on site, uh, get to know each other, and also for them to have the opportunity to get to know all the uh, members of the Eurovision program management unit, the Demo Central team. There is also the FRE Garching uh, group on site, and of course there is also IPP Garching. So we are all in the same site. Uh, we are have a dedicated training program uh, for additional uh, two day a month uh, training six times a month, uh, year on different topics. The upcoming ones are on control, and the following one is is on databases and use of AI and machine learning in fusion on the in fusion applications. So they are quite interesting ones. Um, and then we are thinking of doing in the second year a mid grant review online review where you could get additional feedback and uh, share how far you progressed in year one to make sure that you get the uh, support for year two, you know, make connections or anything that else you need. So let us know if you are interested in this, uh, please contact us, you know, we would be happy to share. The other thing we have been doing, of course, a main element of Eurofusion is knowledge management, right? We are connecting scientists, building communities, we have a lot of, uh, we are very open. Anybody with a Eurofusion beneficiary or, or affiliate identity, so anybody affiliated to Eurofusion can join any of the meetings. Uh, everything is uh, advertised on the wiki pages. All courses are open to for anybody to, to apply. Um, so it's very open. We are doing a lot of, of course, uh, you know, writing publications and so on. But we have reviewed our knowledge management activities and we now have a comprehensive extended plan that has been submitted to the General Assembly for December. 
with 25 recommendations, with new initiatives coming next year. Uh, and I will focus not just on capturing knowledge, maybe in, in new textbooks or new manuals, you know, uh, on, on topics that are not yet captured, um, but also building communities, communities of practice that we are doing quite well on the operational front with the Eurofusion Operation Network. Uh, we will be looking at additional uh, activities for training and education, which we uh, hope to be working together with FuseNet with some additional courses or maybe recorded courses um, made, made more accessible on a Eurofusion platform. Uh, so yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, we are expected to uh, announce uh, some new initiatives next year and we are hoping to improve uh, some of the training and education opportunities in Europe. Um, so there, I think you heard a lot of discussions on physics, and now there was a really nice talk from on engineering. I would like to also highlight the importance on operations. And basically, what I uh, define as operations is you see the fusion product life cycle in this graph. So you have the design and construction, right, which is mainly engineering. Then this circle is basically system commissioning, so plant system commissioning. Then there is the integrated commissioning jointly done. And then you have the experimental campaigns. And then you have either maintenance or you have some shutdowns to with enhancements to increase the performance and the plant systems of the machine. And then you go this cycle. So Jet did it for 40 years, right? And then you go into the commissioning and repurposing. So this circle in the middle is is operation, what we define as operation. So it includes uh, on Jet more than 500 people in more than around 50 different operator operator roles. And this does not mean plasma plasma like uh, plasma operation is a very small fraction of operation there is also of course the heating systems the power supplies codas and it uh, diagnostics so there's a lot of real-time control there's a lot of different elements in operation vacuum uh, you know engineer in charge physics pilot uh, then then just uh, just the scenario development so there is very little uh, published on this topic. There is no textbook and no dedicated course. So one of the things we would like to do next year is to create a course dedicated to operation. And particularly from this physics pilot from the session leader side, which is called session leader on jet. Um, and the physics pilot is basically the person who works with the scientific coordinator and translates the physics request or the experimental proposal into machine um, uh, waveforms and you know basically sets up the pass and then agrees with the engineers kind of all the settings. So it's a very, very exciting role and mostly done by physicists, but engineers can also uh, do it. And this course is not just meant for people who will pilot machines in the future, which is an excellent, one of the best draws, <laughs> I would say. Um, but it's also meant if you want to be an experimentalist and understand how you set up, how to propose a good experiment, then it's really good to understand how to set up a discharge and what are the considerations, how to exploit the machine to the fullest. Uh, also, if you are uh, analyzing discharges, it's really good to understand a bit the operational side, what went wrong, um, not to assume that something is due to a physics reason, but maybe it was there was some operational reason behind it. So this course will be developed under the Eurofusion Operation Network, and there is already a wiki page, so you can access this wiki page. And one thing I, I've been doing is I've been collecting all the resources we have on, on session leader trainings, on physics pilot training, and adding to this website. So this site has every single JET session leader training material, uh, both workshops and seminars and actual training link there. So uh, you are very welcome to go there. Uh, you, you will likely need a JET data center account, but this is something you can request as a Eurofusion member. And I have now also added a mailing list in, people, in case people are interested, or please send me an email and uh, I would be very happy to, to either discuss it with you or, or uh, inform you when, when this is happening next year. There are also a number of other schools. So of course, you FuseNet uh, uh, does a great job at authorizing them. They are also on the Eurofusion Wiki pages, but I want to mention one particularly because this is a school that is organized by Eurofusion together with QST in Japan. Uh, this is called the JT60SA International Fusion School. We had the first edition in September this year. And this is, was basically an opportunity for 10 European students to go to Japan for two weeks and do a school on physics, engineering, and operations. So there were also three, uh, three 
uh, training sessions on operation and there was also practical exercises two-day practical exercises and this was a really good opportunity to see jt60 sa which is of course now the largest tokamak in the world uh, having had the first plasma and really kind of bond with uh, both the european but also the japanese uh, um, colleagues both the students and the professors so we are planning to organize one next year as well and we will be very welcome to apply both physics and engineering students. So what we do on the training education office in Eurofusion is that we created these monthly information sessions. These are online drop-in sessions for anybody who is interested on any activity in Eurofusion related to training education. And we'll be very happy to talk to you. And if you have any question or direct you somewhere else or talk to you about the opportunities we have within Eurofusion, uh, this is under these wiki pages, but I, I just included this year's uh, um, kind of uh, monthly seminars to, for you to see the topics. Um, you can come with any topic. So this is just the topic idea, but anybody with any other topic can join anything. And here is the link for December. So if any of you would like to join, you would be very welcome to join in the December one and ask any questions that you have. Uh, then I have uh, three more slides, um, one on Fusion for Energy. So Fusion for Energy also has a traineeship uh, at uh, uh, with, that you can find under this link. And uh, Fusion for Energy is, is of course, the European uh, member in, in ITER. Uh, so it is it does a lot of work, particularly from the Barcelona side for ITER, but also has the broader approach uh, side uh, in Karhing, which also includes JT60SA collaboration, IFMIF Aveda, which is a radiation facility, IFARC, the supercomputer, and so on. So there are a lot of opportunities here. And we are expecting a call to be opened very soon. So please check the website. And you could have a up to a 12 month uh, traineeship in any of the technical. So this is mostly for engineers and support areas, both with a work experience, but also with participation in number, uh, several trainings. And you could do the internship either in a traineeship, either in Barcelona, which is mostly ITER, uh, or Katarash at the ITER site, which is even better, right? Um, and Garhing, uh, which also has a fantastic team that we work together for JT6 CSA. And there are fields that are mostly engineering, but you can have a so physics, physicist and any other uh, supporting role. The requirement here, however, is that you need to be a, mem a nationality from the European Union uh, or the Ukraine, and you need a, dive, uh, a degree, which could be a bachelor, uh, from my understanding, of, of at least three years. Moving to ITER, so ITER has also internship opportunities. You can look at the link here. Uh, and there are two internships that you would qualify, that you could qualify for as a master's student. So category A is that you are enrolled in an academic program and you have at least four years of studies after high school. And category B is that you have are enrolled in a university and you have at least one year. So you should all qualify for uh, either of these. And you can also do... Uh, so these are two to six months or something less, which is this estimated category C. So uh, my final slide here is that uh, we also have, of course, the intern ITER international schools uh, with a different topic every year. And the you can download the presentations from this website. So feel free to take a look. These are very useful. And uh, complementary to FuseNet's really nice uh, uh, repository of all training material that you should definitely go to, ITER also has a repository and I, I added the link here as well. I think quite a few of the material are shared on both, uh, but it might be uh, worth checking both out. So this is basically just, if you want to contact us, please use either education at Eurofusion or, or training to edu education, uh, training at Eurofusion.org. And I have the list of the beneficiaries here at the end of my slide, which will be shared with you. So that's it. Thank you very much. Eva, thank you very much for, for your presentation. I know you are following the event. So in case the students have any questions, and I know you are very active on the chat, so appreciate that. So in case any of you have any questions, please write them on the chat uh, to Eva and she will, she will uh, answer them to you. Thank you so much again for the presentation.